Can you weld with a generator? It's a question I've seen asked online, and people seem to say no, but so far, it seems like the answer to me is yes. So let's take a look at what we got. The welder is a 1982 ACDC uh, Montgomery Ward's Powercraft 23140. Um, I think it's made by Century, so it's not a Miller, but it's a good brand. Like made in the USA, copper winding, so it's it's got infinite power control, which you can change up and down real easy, which is kind of cool. Uh, have a Miller, you gotta like crank a handle a bunch. All right, let's look at the generator. The generator is a Home Power 6000. Uh, I think it's from about you know late 90s, probably around 2000 model. Powered by a 11 horsepower Honda engine. My, this is my brother's. Uh, when I first looked at it, I saw Home Power 6000. I'm like, that sounds sounds janky. But it's got a Honda, so that's a good start. Let's check out the power unit. Okay, the generator part of it is a Winco generator, made in Minnesota. Um, Rated for 5,500 continuous duty watts. It has two 120 receptacles protected by a 25 amp breaker and a 30 amp 240 volt twist lock receptacle there protected by uh, another 25 amp breaker. Uh, doesn't look like much, but I think, you know, made in the USA, I think it's a good one. Let's take a look at the cord here. We got a see, 30 amp 240 volt. We've got the obligatory wire nut connection. The welder comes with a 50 amp plug. These 50 amp plugs, this is, you know, that's the typical welder plug. It's funny about the 50 amp is it looks just like a normal 120, you know, normal on your wall receptacle thing. It's just huge. And, uh, Whatever. It's supposed to be connected. This, you know, it's supposed to be connected to the wall at 50 amps. But here, I'm just, just kind of tempted in uh, with what you see here. And I want to say that I've tried running that welder on this uh, 3500 Honda generator, and uh, it trips the breaker on this guy. So, you know, I heard people say, "Oh, you need a 9000 watt generator." I don't know exactly what you need. The 3500 is too small for that old school style welder. Okay, this old welder is a transformer type welder, which means that it has transformers in it, which are just, you know, w windings of wire arranged in a certain way to change the voltage and make stuff work. Um, newer welders are usually inverter welders, and they kind of do it with like, you know, you open it up and it kind of looks like there's a, a computer. It's like opening up a computer. There's computer chips that change the voltage and stuff. And uh, I read online that these old transformer welders take up twice as much power as a newer inverter welder. So, basically, if it can power this thing, you can really power, you know, an inverter. In fact, that 3500 Honda I showed earlier, that can, ha that can power an inverter welder, no problem. But not this guy. So you can see the top setting on AC is either 180 or 230 amps, but the top setting on DC is 140. So it looks like AC is more efficient, I guess, at converting power. Uh, so I'm just going to weld this stuff with AC. I mean, depending on what you're welding. I, did, I actually used this to, to weld some aluminum with an aluminum stick welder earlier, and I had had to put it on DC, that's why it's on DC right now. But I'm going to swap it to AC. Okay, I got the leads plugged into the AC low section. Um, looks like we're set for about 100, about 100 right now. So, it's probably a good setting to give it a try. Alright, I'm going to do a 330 seconds stick of 6011. Just what I got lying around.
Let's see what we got here. Well, I think it makes a weld about as good as you are a welder, which in my case ain't that good, but it burnt, seemed to burn through that uh, stick, no problem. So that answers that question. You can do it.